Use it indoor for hot flashes. Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today I'm going to be checking out some products to help keep me cool in the summer because I don't know about you, but I'm a pasty white guy and I don't handle heat very well. And I know we're in England and most people just assume that it's just rainy and cloudy all the time and doesn't get hot, but I assure you it does get to at least 24 degrees Celsius. It isn't very hot. Isn't very hot at all. <laughs> Number one are some absolutely cheap ass fans which I found online. They sent me two, I ordered one. That's already a win. Even if these are bad, damn did we get a deal. So these are mini USB fans and it comes with a USB with a micro USB inside it. So you can plug it into your smartphone, you can plug it into a power bank. You've got some choices there, but who's gonna be carrying around a power bank all the time? They're gonna be using their phones, which is what I'm gonna do today. So despite this being the cheapest piece of kit, I actually like the adapter that it's got on the USB. So it can be a standard size USB or a micro USB. If you just pop out that little bit there, it's not a bad touch. That's not too bad, actually. This thing actually packs a substantial amount of power. But the only downfall I can really think of it is the fact that it doesn't have an on-off switch. You literally just have to pull it out of your phone. The only other problem I have with this is that the fan blades are quite loosely put on. As you can see there, there's quite a bit of gappage on that. And I have a feeling if you're out and about using this in public, chances are the fan blades are going to pop off and hit someone in the face, which is never a fun time. But saying that, giving it a bit of a stress test here, it, it seems to be handling quite well. And there it goes. All in all, not too bad for two quid cools instantly when wet. So this is literally just a cooling towel. As I said, you just wet it and it's meant to make you cool. That's it, wear it like that, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's figure that out together. So then we just wring out the excess and miss the cup entirely. And this should be nice and cool. This does feel quite cool. Not as cool as I was hoping, but it's not bad though. Maybe wrap it around, get a bit of a Mother Teresa look going on. Or save the embarrassment and just I don't know, rub it on your arms or wear it around your neck, because actually, that feels quite nice. Cooling towel, thumbs up. Now one important thing you need to remember when trying to stay cool is to stay hydrated. So we've got the Ula Smart Hydration Reminder. So if you're one of those people who just don't get thirsty and find it hard to remember to drink, then this might be the guy for you. And slide. So this little guy has a tiny LED built into the front just there. And every 30 to 40 minutes, it will blink slowly to remind you to have more water. And it has a little vibration detector inside. So every single time you pick up your car, up your bottle and then put it down again it recognizes the fact that you've put it down and then the timer will restart and then again in 30 to 40 minutes it will blink again remind you to drink more water i personally as someone who just likes drinking water a lot do not see the benefit of this but i do recognize if people do have trouble remembering to drink this could come in handy at the same time again a bit of criticism i don't think that a small LED like that is going to be enough of a reminder to go drink water because I don't think many people are staring at their bottle if they're not remembering to drink, you know? Maybe ideally it's for office workers who have their bottles on their desk but are just too engrossed in Excel spreadsheets to remember to take a drink. Anyway, we need a drink of water. So there's no fancy mounts on this thing. It's literally just an elastic band which then you shove the Ula behind and it just stays hooked to your bottle or cup and then every time you take a sip, when you put your cup down again, it should light up to indicate that you have taken a sip. And then if you don't take another sip for 30 to 40 minutes, it will give you a reminder by blinking again. And that's when you know to take another sip. Not for me, thumbs down. All right, I'm excited about this one. I've been wanting to try this out for like two weeks because it was one of the first things to actually turn up. It is a hat. God damn, do I love hats. This ain't any old hat. This is a solar paneled fan hat. Now, let me get out the bag and show you. Look at this monstrosity. So in the front of the cap, you've got a fan mounted with two solar panels and it is the most hideous thing I have ever seen and I wanted it as soon as I saw it. Will it even fit my head? Because I have a notoriously big head. Isn't that right, Ben? Oh, huge. Massive. Gigantic, gargantuous, absolutely enormous. Sorry. And that is uh, that's actually a pretty good fit. First thing I'm noticing, the front bit of this hat is absolutely massive. It's quite an eyesore. I definitely wouldn't wear it backwards. Actually, you could wear it backwards and it'll keep your neck cool. So there's no on switch. You literally just go outside and as soon as the sun hits it, you got power. It's going. So we need to give this a go. So um, I guess we're gonna go outside. So literally like the solar panel on there, it has to be in direct sunlight for it to work. And then as soon as it goes off into the shade, fan turns off. So unless you're in complete direct sunlight, it doesn't work at all. But also there's like zero breeze from that as well. Yeah, it's rubbish. Oh, oh. 
So we just went outside and yeah, this thing doesn't work very well at all. You have to be in direct sunlight for this to be working. If it's even slightly in the shade, no luck, it's not even gonna turn on. And even when it does turn on, like the fan power is so weak that you can barely feel anything. It does look absolutely ridiculous, which honestly is the main reason why I bought it. I didn't expect it to actually work. Now I have high hopes for this one. I think this one's gonna be the best one. It is the handheld portable cooler. It is basically a tiny air conditioner, which can cool air up to 30 degrees Fahrenheit, which sounds pretty good to me. Basically, there's a little sponge on the inside and a fan, so it just absorbs air, it goes through the sponge, cooling down the air, and then out the other side. Really, really simple concept. Here it is. It looks a lot brighter in person than it does on the packaging. That looks amazing. I will say that this is probably a bit too big to be like portable as such. I wouldn't want to be like walking around a city with this in my hand. I'd feel like a bit of a lemon. Use it indoor for hot flashes. Ben is well known for his hot flashes. So it comes with a clear plastic bottle, which I'm assuming is just to store water in so you can redo the sponge on the inside of here without, you know, having to go find a tap. You've got your USB cable here, and surprisingly, it's not going to a micro USB. It goes into like a, a DC input. Now, does it have any charge? Guess what? Doesn't have any charge. <gasps> We're saved. It takes battery. Well, it's a fairly substantial fan as it is. Open that up there and you've literally got your, your tiny sponge right there and you're meant to soak that, put it in there, then close up again and then the air will flow through the sponge and cool down the air, apparently. And let's get my cup again. Am I meant to take a sip? Yes. Thanks, Ula. You saved me. Your dip and dab method. Place on the inside there. So the wet sponge is loaded. So just turning it on with a little switch on the side. It's a little better and the top there you can actually rotate it as well So, you know, if you want to hold it like this or hold it like this You've got choices as cute as the little snowman on the front is um, Yeah, I don't want to be seen in public with this thing. It's not the quietest and most subtle handheld cooling device is that all products? No, I got more oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's fine I, I think... <coughs> oh, <coughs> sponge. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, I forgot I put a sponge in. We're down to our last product. And again, it's a buy one, get one free situation because I ordered one, but I got two. Now, these are armpit fans and they're made by a company in Japan. And I, honestly, I was hoping it would have more exciting packaging, but it literally just turned up in plain white packaging, which was a bit of a letdown. Now, we're going to struggle a bit because uh, the instructions are entirely in Japanese. You've got your micro USB and then you've got your armpit fan. And straight away, this is the smallest device that we we've had today. You've got the little switch on the side there so it's off and then full power and then down to the weakest power. So the idea here is that you've got the clip just there and as I said this is an armpit fan. Take the fan, shove it up your sleeve and it cools your armpits. It's as simple as that people. As simple as that. I think it's working. You know what I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one out and slap it onto the other arm. And we are dual wielding. I feel comfortable. If it weren't for the fan noise in my armpits right now, I don't think anyone would ever know. Well, I think out of the lot, this is definitely the weirdest cooling product, but um, honestly, not the most effective. For the final test, I'm just gonna get all the products going at the same time and just see which one makes me feel the coolest. That, that sounds like a, a sound idea, doesn't it? Ben, on a scale of one to 10, how ridiculous is this scene right about now? I mean, how sensitive Fairly. So I think it's fair to say that all the products are varying degrees of terrible, but honestly the cheapest and the most convenient product being the smartphone fan is the best one when it comes to producing but that, that's my one issue with it. The cooling cloth, which I've got under the hat right now, does work pretty well, especially under a hat. It's, it's actually quite nice. We've been filming for about a half an hour and this thing has actually stayed cool this whole entire time. So I am vaguely impressed. And with that, that's gonna be it for another edition of Lu And with that, that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. If you like this video, hit like. If you really like this video, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. We've also have Facebook and Twitter. You can follow us on there. I also have my own personal Twitter if you want to check that out. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Oh, the sponge water's gotten to me. Oh.